In this video, I'm going to show you how to use open data in QGIS 3. This video continues where we ended in another video on stream and catchment delineation. The stream and catchment of the Ruhr catchment were delineated using also open data from the Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, SRTM. Here we are first going to show how to use data from open data portals. We'll show how to use data from the European Environmental Agency that is freely available on the Internet. On the Disco Map website from the EEA, we can get, for example, data on land use, but also on many other themes, as you can see. If I click on land, I see all the land use data sets that are available. I'm going to show you how to use the data on land cover from the Corine data set. Most recent one is from 2012. And here we see some metadata which explains the data set and if I click on the figure here on the left we go to an online map viewer and you can see the legend switch on and off different layers but we are more interested to use this directly into a GIS as a backdrop to use with other layers that we have. So if we click right on WMS we can copy the location of this link, which we can use in QGIS. So I'm going to the Data Source Manager, and there under WMS, I can add a new one, EEA Land, and I paste the URL here. It will be automatically corrected by QGIS, because the URL here should end with the WMS server. But uh, we shouldn't worry about it. We do OK. And then I can connect to the server, and here I see the same data as we have seen online. And I click here on PNG, so the data layers that we will download will have transparency for no data. So that is useful if we want to see other data uh, on the place of no data pixels. We check here the box to use contextual WMS legend, so we always have the legend also in our layers panel. So let's first add the wetlands to the data set. Here we see that there are wetlands upstream of our catchment. Here are the different subcategories in the legend. In the same way, we can add also other classes, like the water bodies. Here they are. And let's also add the forests, artificial services, and agricultural areas. Here they are. And I can put the work catchment boundary on top, so we can still recognize it here. It's nice to use this as a backdrop, but what we really want is to use open data for analysis, and we cannot do it uh, with WMS. WMS is a open standard for transferring pictures that are generated on the server from the map data, but it's not the real raster or vector data that we can use in further analysis. In the next steps, I'm going to show you how to use that. So let's start again with our catchment data. And instead of the DM and the hill shade, I'm going to add the OpenStreetMap data from the Quick Map Services plugin that we have also used in other exercises. There it is. And the biggest difference with Google is that all these elements that we see here on the online map are also available as points, lines, and polygons that we can download to QGIS. So let me zoom back to the catchment boundary. And the most important thing is if we build a catchment map is that we also have our hydrography. Now we can download a plugin to download the Quick OSM plugin. Quick OSM 
is a plugin that uses the Overpass API to download OpenStreetMap data. We can find it in the menu, in the vector menu, there we have Quick OSM. And it uses keys and values. If you want to know what the keys and values are, and that's how the data in OpenStreetMap is structured, we go to Help with Key Value. And here we find all the definitions they use, including example pictures and the style on the map. So let's start with adding the rivers. They are with the key waterway and for value we will choose river. And we are only interested in the extent of our catchment. So I use here the rural catchment boundary as the search area. And under advanced we always keep node way and relation checked but we are only interested in the river as lines, so I only check the box for lines, and then I run the query, and it will now fetch the data from the overpass server. And when it's done, we can find the rivers here on the map. I'll change the colors a bit so you can more clearly see them. Simple blue line and there it is. We can uh, even label it with the names and we can do other analysis with it. Uh, if we want to use it we can save it as a shapefile. So export, click right, export, save features as. And uh, we can build a geo package uh, with all this data or we can use it as individual shapefiles. So let's save in this case to a shapefile. make a new folder, open data, and I save this one as rivers. And we change the projection to the one of the project. There it is. And we go OK. Now it's a shapefile, but it is too large, it covers more, so we're going to clip it. So here under Vector, I go to Geoprocessing Tools Clip, and here I choose as an input layer the rivers, as a clip layer the root catchment, and then I save it to a file. Rivers Ruhr. Save and I run it in the background and now it's clipped I can remove this one I can copy the style of this one and then I can remove this one too and then we see we only have the rivers in the rural catchment so I can give this another name, rename layer, Ruhr Rivers. In the same way I can add the lakes, vector, quick OSM. And the lakes are on uh, natural, and then the value, water. And the lakes are polygons, so we only check the polygons. And then we run the query. There it is. Also here we are only interested in the lakes that are within the catchment boundary of the rural catchment. In this case we are first going to select the areas that are in the catchment boundary. We can do that under Vector using the research tools and then select by location. We select features from natural water and we choose the ones that are really within the rural catchment boundary. We can see that these layers have different projections. 
but uh, QGIS 3 can take care of that. So when I run it, it's quite quick. Click close. And I see now in yellow highlighted all the lakes that are within the catchment boundary. So what I can do now is click right, export, save selected features as lakes roar shape and we change the projection to UTM, we save only the selected features. There we are. Let's remove this one. And let's change the style. And now we have the lakes and the rivers from OpenStreetMap. What would also be nice to have is where the dams are located. So let's use again the quick OSM. And let's choose here waterway dam. Again in the Ruhr catchment who's advanced. In this case it will just be a line. Let me run the query. And there we have the dams. Let's uh, style them first. Simple black line, a bit thicker. It's a bit too thick, but there, there they are. So in this way we have the lakes and the dams and the waterways. Also here we can clip it to only the catchment. We go to the vector menu, choose geoprocessing tools, clip, and we choose the dam and the root catchment, give it an output name. Let's call it dam's roar. QGS takes care of the different projection and we run it. And there it is. Let's copy the style from the original. And paste it to the new one. Remove the original. And change the name of the new one. And this is our result map.